The Great Pyramid of Giza is one of the most iconic and significant structures in human history. It is the largest and oldest of the three pyramids in Giza, Egypt, and was built around 2560 before modern era. The pyramid was constructed as a tomb for the pharaoh Khufu, and it is estimated that it took over 20 years and around 100,000 workers to complete. The pyramid's base covers an area of around 13 acres and is made up of over 2 million stone blocks, some of which weigh as much as 80 tons. The pyramid originally stood at a height of 146 meters, although it has now lost around 10 meters due to erosion and the removal of its outer casing stones. The Great Pyramid was built with incredible precision and engineering skill, and it remains a mystery as to how the ancient Egyptians were able to achieve such a feat without the use of modern technology. The pyramid's interior features a complex system of chambers and passages, including the King's Chamber, the Queen's Chamber, and the Grand Gallery. Over the centuries, the Great Pyramid has been the subject of much speculation and fascination. Many theories and legends surrounded the pyramid, including the idea that it was built by aliens, or that it contains hidden treasure. While many of these ideas are far-fetched, there is no doubt that the Great Pyramid of Giza is a truly awe-inspiring achievement of human ingenuity and engineering. The mausoleum at Halicarnassus was a tomb built in the ancient city of Halicarnassus, which is now present-day Bandrum, Turkey. It was constructed in the 4th century before modern era, and was commissioned by Queen Artemisia II of Caria as a memorial for her husband, King Mausolus. The tomb was designed by a team of Greek architects and sculptors, including Pythias, who was also responsible for the Temple of Athena Nike in Athens. The mausoleum was a remarkable feat of architecture, standing over 45 meters tall and featuring a grand staircase, a series of terraces, and a large central chamber. The mausoleum was adorned with elaborate sculptures and decorations, including a series of reliefs depicting scenes from Greek mythology and battles. The tomb was topped by a massive step pyramid roof, which was decorated with a sculpture of four horses and a chariot, symbolizing the journey of the soul into the afterlife. The mausoleum at Halicarnassus was considered one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, and it was a major attraction for tourists and pilgrims throughout the ancient world. However, the tomb was damaged by earthquakes over the centuries, and its ruins were eventually used as building materials for other structures. Today, little remains of the mausoleum of Halicarnassus, but its legacy lives on as a symbol of the incredible artistic and architectural achievements of the ancient world. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon are a legendary garden complex that was believed to have been built in the ancient city of Babylon, which is now present-day Iraq. The gardens were said to have been built in the 6th century before modern era by King Nebuchadnezzar II as a gift to his wife, Amidus, who was homesick for the lush vegetation of her homeland. According to ancient texts, the gardens were built on terraces that rose above the level of the city and were supported by pillars, creating a sort of elevated oasis. The gardens were said to be filled with exotic plants and trees, watered by a sophisticated irrigation system that allowed water to flow upwards. Despite their legendary status, there is little concrete evidence to suggest that the Hanging Gardens of Babylon actually existed. No archaeological remains of the gardens have ever been found, and there are no contemporary accounts of their construction or existence. It is possible that the legend of the Hanging Gardens was simply a fanciful story created by ancient writers, or that the gardens did exist but were destroyed over time. Nevertheless, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon remain one of the most enduring and romanticized wonders of the ancient world, a symbol of the power and grandeur of the Babylonian Empire. The Temple of Artemis at Ephesus was a Greek temple located in the ancient city of Ephesus, which is now present-day Turkey. The temple was dedicated to the goddess Artemis, who was the patron goddess of the city and the protector of young women and childbirth. The temple was first built in the 6th century before modern era, and it underwent several reconstructions and additions over the centuries. The most famous iteration of the temple was built in the 4th century before modern era and was one of the largest temples in the ancient world, measuring over 100 meters long and 50 meters wide. The temple was known for its striking architecture, which featured it tall columns and ornate decoration. 
The temple's facade was adorned with intricate carvings and sculptures, while the interior featured a central nave flanked by aisles and a large statue of Artemis herself. The Temple of Artemis at Ephesus was not only a religious site, but also a major center of commerce and trade. The temple's location on the Aegean Sea made it a popular destination for merchants and pilgrims, and the temple's vast wealth and influence were well known throughout the ancient world. Today, little remains of the Temple of Artemis at Ephesus, and only a few scattered ruins and fragments of sculptures have been found. Nevertheless, the temple remains an important symbol of the rich history and cultural heritage of ancient Greece and Turkey. The statue of Zeus at Olympia was a masterpiece of ancient Greek sculpture, created by the renowned sculptor Phidias in the 5th century before modern era. The statue was located in the Temple of Zeus in Olympia, Greece, and was considered one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The statue was made of ivory and gold and stood over 12 meters tall, depicting Zeus seated on a throne and holding a scepter in one hand and a statue of Nike, the goddess of victory, in the other. The statue's body was adorned with intricate decoration and detail, including depictions of animals, plants, and mythological creatures. The statue of Zeus was not only a remarkable work of art, but also a symbol of the power and grandeur of the Greek gods. The temple in which it was housed was one of the largest and most impressive in Greece, and it was a major site of religious pilgrimage and worship. Despite its importance, the statue of Zeus at Olympia was destroyed in the 5th century in the modern era, possibly during a fire or as a result of religious persecution. Today, only fragments of the statue remain, but its legacy lives on as a testament to the incredible achievements of ancient Greek art and culture. The Lighthouse of Alexandria, also known as the Pharos of Alexandria, was a giant tower built in the ancient city of Alexandria, Egypt. The lighthouse was constructed in the 3rd century before modern era, and was one of the tallest man-made structures in the ancient world, standing over 100 meters or 330 feet tall. The lighthouse was built to guide ships into the harbor of Alexandria, which was one of the busiest ports in the Mediterranean. It was designed by the architect Sostratus of Nidus, and it was constructed of white marble and limestone. The lighthouse of Alexandria featured a series of mirrors and lenses that reflected sunlight during the day, and fire at night, creating a powerful beam of light that could be seen from over 50 kilometers or 30 miles away. The tower also included a spiral staircase that led to the top, where there was a giant statue of the sea god Poseidon. The Lighthouse of Alexandria was a remarkable feat of engineering and architecture, and it became a symbol of the power and wealth of the ancient city of Alexandria. However, the lighthouse was damaged by earthquakes over the centuries, and it eventually fell into ruin. Today, little remains of the Lighthouse of Alexandria, but its legacy lives on as a symbol of the incredible achievements of the ancient world. The Colossus of Rhodes was a giant bronze statue of the Greek god Helios, built in the city of Rhodes on the Greek island of the same name. The statue was constructed in the 3rd century before modern era, and was one of the tallest statues in the ancient world, standing over 30 meters, 100 feet, tall. The Colossus was designed by the sculptor Chairs of Lindus, who worked on the statue for over 12 years. It was located at the entrance to the harbor of Rhodes, and it was built to celebrate the victory of the city over an invading army. The Colossus of Rhodes was a remarkable feat of engineering and artistry, with a complex internal framework of iron and stone that supported the bronze exterior. The statue depicted Helios standing with his arms outstretched, holding a torch in one hand and a spear in the other. The Colossus of Rhodes stood for only a few decades before it was destroyed by an earthquake in the late 3rd century before modern era. Although the statue was never rebuilt, its legacy lived on, and it became a symbol of strength and resilience for the people of Rhodes. Today, little remains of the Colossus of Rhodes, but its legacy lives on as a testament to the incredible artistic and engineering achievements of the ancient world. The world is full of history that sadly has been ruined throughout time. It is a shame that we can't travel to visit almost all of these amazing structures. If you like the video please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. This was Unbordered and thank you for watching.